This trip has got to be the most eventful one we had so far. From Typhoon being the reason for our cancelled flights, the trauma of booking and rebooking, to delayed flights, our pickup coming in late, the trip just got more and more exciting day by day. As the title suggests, my husband and I went for a 10-day visit to the Philippines where we attended some important occasion that I am just about to show you in this episode. So sit back and relax as we take you on this quick trip, giving you swift glances on what we did, where we went, and whom we met in the process. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, la 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 Tis the season to be jolly, la 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 Landing in Manila, we were welcomed with melodious Christmas carols, reminding us that the season of joy is upon us. And Manila being one of the best places to celebrate it, is beaming with bright colors and sparkling lights. Coming out of the airport, seeing the maddening traffic even past midnight, I was a thousand and one percent sure that we were indeed in Manila already. Our first task was to attend the first communion of my nephew, who is currently studying in his third grade. It was a momentous occasion for this little one, who was very excited to receive his first Holy Communion. I was so excited to receive Jesus in my first communion. I made a separate video on the event and the link can be found in the description below. Since we didn't have time to actually celebrate this occasion, we just had to quickly get some food from the nearest KFC. Here, my sister and I dashed to the store to buy some food. The second and one of the main tasks we have for this trip was to attend my niece's wedding. My niece Desiree is also my goddaughter to whom I promise that when she gets married I will come wherever I am. And since I'm not one to break my promise, my husband and I planned this trip to once again stand as her godparents for her wedding to her longtime boyfriend Jason, a police officer in Quezon City. It was a fun day meeting some of the close relatives and friends whom we have not seen for a long time. And of course, I was grateful to be invited by the Municipality of Amadeo to be part of their Amadeo Pride program. I delivered an address highlighting my journey to where I am now and looking back to where I started, which is the town of Amadeo. Pero ang pagsisikap ko ay isang bagay na hindi natin dapat iwanan. 
Sabi ko nga po, ang paano nyo na sa buhay ay may the purpose, the means to follow. Kung meron po tayo pinitignan na goal, darating at darating po, hindi po tayo pababayaan ni Lord sa mga kailangan natin gawin. Basta nakikita niya lang na may pisigat tayo. Kung lagi po pinagmamalaki, ay ang kasimplehan uh, ng mga nag-abadeyo. And they are quietly succeeding. Ibalala ko po na lang na nandun na sila sa tuktok. Nakikita din po natin ang pag-vlog mo ng Amadeo. Ang development po ay maganda lang kung ito po ay magsisimple sa ating bayan. Panatilihin natin ang Amadeo na rich, mayaman sa kultura, mayaman sa ekonomiya, mayaman sa ating natural resources, at mayaman sa morality at ang ating pag-pilihin at pag-ugnay sa ating Panginoon. Maraming salamat po at uh, mabuhay po ang mga nag-Amadeo. It was nice to be recognized and be given the opportunity to speak before its people and to meet some old friends who are now part of the incumbent set of officers serving the municipality. I was also delighted to have met some relatives who came and spent some time with us after the event, recalling events of the past and the relations we have, basically treading our family tree in the process. We happened to be there when the Southeast Asian Games was happening and Tagaytay being one of the places chosen to hold several events, the festivities were even more. Christmas is felt in every corner, adding to the color and gaiety of the visit. Decorations sparkles and the people are all in celebratory mood as they prepare for the season of joy. The rest of the trip was spent with the family, shopping and visiting some of the places I love. This trip may be a quick one, but it sure was packed with memories that we will cherish forever.